Okay, so I've just finished my third semester of college and I've been reflecting on the time so far. There's been a ton of good, some bad, and just a whole lot of learning. And so one of the things that I've felt since day one is a constant desire to want to seat at these tables that are exclusive and seem to offer status and prestige that everyone's chasing. And since it seems like everyone's doing it, like it feels like there's a current where, like if I'm a fish, like I need to follow that current, I need to follow the suit, or if not, I'll get left in the dust and left without a seat at a table at all. And so at the beginning of college, I made a commitment to myself that I wouldn't join any clubs that were selective or competitive in nature. And after I made that commitment to myself, there were so many times both last year and this semester, where I would see people getting dressed up to go to different recruiting events for these um, for these selective like, clubs and organizations, and like there'd just be like a deep, deep unrest inside of me where, like, man, I should really go back on this because if I don't act soon, soon there will be like no more seats at any tables, and then everybody else is well set up for the rest of their life. But then what? What, what do I have? What am I doing? So this caused so much stress for me. And especially, I'm getting ready to move to a different college um, for the next semester. And so, like all those thoughts have been cropping up in my mind all over again. But as I've wrestled, I've found encouragement in this, that my savior, Jesus Christ, he sat at tables with people who were like sinners, people that were despised by society, and he was unworried about being around the people who were wealthy, who had power, who had prestige. And even when he was mocked for this by the Pharisees, he, he didn't stop. Like, he cared about people, not what people could offer him. And just like reading that, it's so, so different from the world. Like, he wasn't worried about, like, sitting with the people who would like help him get into grad school he wasn't sitting with the people who could like offer him like i could go on and on with all these different things he was focused on loving the people that were there no matter what other people thought of them no matter what they could actually offer him and him being jesus there was <laughs> there was nothing to offer him because jesus is he has everything that he needs so i've started to wonder what it looks like for me to live a life like that as well, where the tables that I sit at, it's truly to connect and love those people for who they are, not to be prestiged, not, not to be attached to the prestige that the table can offer me, and because my name's associated with it, like, not being attached to that. And, like, my ultimate hope whenever I'm worried about, like, oh, am I sitting at the right tables? Like, Jesus said that, like in John 14, Jesus said that he is going, like he's going back to his father to repair a place for me, for you, for anyone who believes that he's done everything necessary to save us. And he's coming back to, he's coming back to get me and bring me there with him. So that is where my, I have a confident hope in that. And I hope that if you have ever felt anything similar, that that can also be of encouragement to you as well. So yeah, that's all I have. Um, I love you. God bless. Bye.